everyone. Thanks for tuning in to your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. So today it's how do they feel about you? So we're going to look at your person. How do they feel about you and how do they feel about this connection? I'm going to use um, a couple of my new decks, the Heartstrings Tarot, as well as um, the Romantic Fairy Oracle by a Cherry Enchantress. Absolutely love those cards. So um, you we're using those as well as we're going to get some messages from a few of my message decks to find out how this person feels about you guys right now, okay? Then at the end of the reading, we'll pull an outcome card to see what's the big message from Spirit in terms of um, where this connection is headed and the likely future outcome. So with that being said, for group one, these are chakra stones, by the way, and group one is being represented by Amethyst. For group two, you're being represented by Goldstone. And for group three, it's Lapis Lazuli. So pause the video if you need more time. Timestamps will be down below. Remember, it's a general reading. Can't resonate for everyone. So just take what resonates and forget, forget what doesn't. If you'd like a private reading, my contact information is down below. I just went ahead and linked my Gumroad shop down below so it's easier to get to um, the reading order page. Um, so if you guys would like a private reading, it's now easier to do that instead of having to go through, you know, the website and all that. Um, also, you can just email me at lovetheoracledragon at gmail.com. But um, thanks to those of you who have gotten personal readings from me, the, my, my patrons, those who follow me regularly, comment, like, and subscribe. I appreciate it. And if you're new here, please do consider subscribing. It does keep the channel going. And, um, you know, hit that bell to receive notifications when I upload my next video. I'd appreciate that as well. But if you do like the reading, then hit that like button and let me know down below. And if the reading doesn't resonate, feel free to choose another group. Um, ignore that number three. Feel free to choose another group or check out the reading playlists that are also linked down below. We're going to get started with group number one. Welcome, group one. Thanks for tuning into your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. So go ahead and think about your love interest. We're going to start off using the Heartstrings Tarot. Angel spirits and guides for the strongest collective energy of everyone who chose group one. How does their person of interest really feel about them, please? For everyone who chose a group one spirit, how does their person of interest really feel about them right now? And how do they feel about this connection? How do they feel about group one, please? Okay. Wow. We have the Emperor. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Page of Cups, okay? So right away I can see that your person is, we've got, I think that's the Six of Cups. Yeah, the Six of Cups at the back of the deck here. So it's pretty clear to me right off the bat, like, how does your person feel about you? Um, they feel like contacting you, okay? Um, and the majority who watch me are feminine or females, so... If you're here for your masculine, this is especially true with that emperor, okay? So, um, what's the emperor doing? The emperor is like weighing the pros and cons of making a love offer here, okay? Uh, the, the emperor is, um, you know, very uh, much somebody that is in a position of leadership, a strategic planner. This person could be older or... You know, a father figure, definitely spouse material. And they are looking at this situation, um, trying to decide, you know, with that two of coins, if they should come towards you. They're like, maybe they are trying to decide between you and another path. But um, they're definitely trying to um, make a choice, a practical decision regarding this connection. Um, a choice is going to make sense in a practical sense. It does have to do with something or someone else. So this is, you know, going to resonate if your person is involved in a third party situation. But even if they're not, this could be talking about work and money that they're considering, like weighing the pros and cons of, you know, how this connection will play into their future with regard to work and money, with regard to their home. Um, with regard to their business, but either way, this person's definitely um, weighing the pros and cons about taking that step to pick up the phone and call you or text you, message you, reach out to you with that page of cups. 
So, I mean, it's pretty, pretty straightforward person. Really, um, how do they feel about you? They feel like, even though they're the emperor, you know, they feel shy and vulnerable and uncertain about contacting you, sending you a message, okay? Um, or shy about making an offer, giving you a gift, proposing something to you, okay? Um, others of you, there's this is like a big age difference between the two of you. Um, one of you is much older or um, more mature than the other one. Some of you, um, this is your baby's father, your baby's mother, um, but it is a general reading, so just take you know what resonates and forget what doesn't. For a lot of you, this is somebody from your past with the Six of Cups. So um, this is the um, you know lover from the past coming back or considering coming back. This person, you know, if they are the emperor or, you know, if it's you, if you resonate with that masculine, strong masculine energy, then they're saying that they feel like you are very masculine or you are very business oriented. Um, you are the leader in your friends group or at your work or both, you know, that they feel like you, um, that you would be the one that needs to make the decision if you're resonating as the emperor, okay? make that you would be the one that would need to make the decision to come forth and offer your little cup of love but for the majority it's the other way around okay that this person um you know feels about you that that um well they feel they feel good about you i mean two of pentacles is more than just a decision card it, it, it's a positive it's a positive energy card for the most part it's about um somebody um even though they have a lot of responsibilities they are um, keeping up with those, right? And so it, it's um, somebody that's kind of on the ball with the situation. So your person feels like um, either they are on the ball with the situation or they'd have to be, but they um, are looking, see how our eyes are looking to um, make you that, that offer because this person, um, you know, underneath the surface, they obviously have feelings for you, okay? Sometimes emperor doesn't show that page of cups though with little fish popping out of the uh, out of the cup um you know shows that this person you know deep down inside has feelings for you and um they're very sweet feelings with that six of cups you know you could remind them of um you know happy warm memories or maybe you've known this person for a long time and this person feels nostalgic but i am definitely getting for some of you this person wants to give you a gift okay um, there are really sweet, innocent feelings with regard, like you make this emperor feel like a kid again. So there are really sweet, innocent feelings behind the way that this person feels about you. And it motivates them to handle whatever they have to handle, juggle whatever they have to juggle, reorganize what they have to reorganize to make the decision um, in order to, um, you know, extend you that cup of love in order to reach out to you because, well, they miss you for one thing, especially if you're apart, but also they, um, love the way that you make them feel okay and they think you're they think you're very sweet so I'm gonna get um, some more cards on how this person feels about you we're just gonna use uh, Rider Rider Waite Smith next here and I'm gonna link the playlist for the heartstring tarot down below so if you guys are curious about the songs that are associated with each of these cards, it'll be down there. Yeah, this person definitely thinks that you're very sweet. So let's clarify from left to right, Spirit for Group 1. How does our person really feel about them right now? Yeah, very passionately towards you guys with that Ace of Wands. The Emperor is Aries energy, so this person could have it strong in their chart, or you could, but either way, it's um, this Emperor. It feels like this spark of passion for you. They either want to rekindle this connection or keep the flame going here.
And we've got the Nine of Wands. I feel like this person feels like this passion um, kind of threatens to make them weak. They could be feeling defensively towards you with the Seven of Wands. Both Seven and Nine are defensive energies. So uh, maybe they're afraid that you're gonna come, or they're gonna come towards you and you are going to be defensive towards them. But mostly I feel like it's this person. For some of you, this person, um, yeah, they're really missing you. And uh, they could be being defensive because they made mistakes in this connection. Also, some of them are stuck in a situation, maybe that third party situation or whatever that Two of Pentacles is talking about. They could be feeling stuck as well. Maybe you're stuck, so you know, just take how it resonates. But they feel like um, they feel a little, little defensive because you got their feelings, you know, in motion. This person is feeling you, and they like to be in charge. They like to be in control. They like to be perceived as strong. How does this person feel towards Group One? Oh, awesome. Yeah, some of you could be getting a proposal of marriage from this person, or they feel like in the future this is where this is headed. For even um, more of you, this person feels like, um, you know, reconciling with you. I just noticed the Five of Cups at the back of the deck. So for those who are in separation from this person, they feel like reconciling with you. If you guys are still together or if you're in separation either way, they do want to move on. If they need your forgiveness, they want it. Um, you know, if, if you need forgiveness, they want to give it to you. But they do, um, they're experience, experiencing a resurgence of hope for this connection and wanting a recovery in it. And just wanting to work through, like regardless of the scenario, they're wanting to move forward and work through any barriers to the connection. Um, it looks like practical barriers mostly, uh, but they're wanting to, I'm hearing logistic, that's very much emperor energy right there, um, logistics um, of getting together. They're, they're wanting to work through those logistics of getting together, figure all that out, and come forth with a love offer, and they anticipate getting that love back in return. So how do they feel about you? They feel like they love you, and they feel like you love them too. And they want to move towards this, this Two of Cups, romantic love, partnership, proposal, and marriage. Okay. Very, very positive, you guys. So, I just got these wonderful little um, mini cards here. This is from Cherry en Enchantress's channel. If you guys haven't checked her out, check her out. I absolutely adore her and her cards, especially her cards. She is truly an artist. She makes these cards herself. These are like the best. The, the Romantic Fairy Oracle. So we're going to pull some of these to see how this person is feeling about you right now. And if this is resonating, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you would like a private reading, my contact information is down below in the description box. You can comment as well if you feel drawn to if this is resonating. Angel spirits and guides for group one. How else does this person really feel about group one, please? Does group one's emperor feel about them? We've got best friend. Friendship is vital to your romance. Feelings deepen and blossom. You guys could have been friends in the past with that six of cups. That is a friendship card. Um... Yeah, it's technically like it's a Sun and Scorpio um, friendship card. So even though red, it's read romantically, you guys um, could have started this off as friends. Maybe in the distant past. And they're letting you know, though, that they do have a passion for you. And like the card says, friendship is, is vital to your romance. Feelings deepen and blossom. This person's feelings have deepened and are blossoming. How else does this person feel towards group one? I kind of tried to turn. We've got fearless love, a courageous leap into the unknown. So there is an element of risk here. This is why your emperor 
is feeling defensive, watching their back, has their guards up, trying to manage some boundaries here, um, something to do with whatever they're juggling. Um, definitely feeling, but wanting and are persisting in this connection. Like their passion for you and for a reconciliation or to move this to the next level, to the Two of Cups. They're feeling that you guys love each other, that this is a special bond, that you guys have a lot of romantic feelings for one another, and their desire to, um, you know, fearlessly move past their own boundaries, make a decision, and come forth. That is definitely here. This, this emperor is just looking um, for the right opportunity to be able to do that. So it's a, cre a courageous leap into the unknown. It's going to require um, courage from your emperor to reach out, to move this forward, to get past their blockages, or to get past your blockages, but they um, they wanna do it. Whereas they might have been afraid to move it out of the, the friend zone before, or um, they just have some, some blockage here. They feel fearlessly about this love now. We've got manifesting the one. Very soon your true love will arrive. Yep, absolutely you guys. Very true, your, your true love will arrive. This person feels like you are their true love or soulmate and they are, <laughs> they are planning um, how to approach you. Okay, how to have this passionate new beginning with you. They are feeling inspired. They have the urge to create more in this connection with you. They're just trying to decide how to do that and to push through your difficulties, whatever those might be, in order to um, extend their cup of love to you and receive a cup of love in return. And they're willing to do this fearlessly um, and they are manifesting you. We've got the wand, right? The wand is a tool of the magician. This person could be using manifestation techniques. But either way, they're um, perhaps subconsciously even, either way, they're still um, manifesting contact with you and feeling like you are their true love and that you guys will be, be together again and um, very soon, okay? And then at the back of the deck, we've got healing connection. Your romance will transform your life. So feeling like this connection is... Um, is healing or needs to be healed, maybe through forgiveness. But either way, this person um, feels that this romance is going to transform your life, it's gonna transform their life, and that they have very real feelings for you. You share true romantic feelings worth exploring and that these romantic feelings are not gonna go away. They haven't gone away for some of you. For a very long time, they've been there. Um, however much people might have been trying to repress those, they are there, they're real, and this person is manifesting you. You are the one, okay? So that's awesome, love that. So let's get some messages from your person and it's gonna be a shorter reading today. So how does this person feel about group one, sir? What would they say if they had no fear and no filter? We've got that magician energy. Yeah, somebody could really be a Virgo or Gemini, have it strong in their chart, or be very persuasive or in that sort of magician energy because I talked about the wand being the tool of the magician. Um, this person is saying, the way you can persuade anyone on anything must be magic. So maybe this person feels like you have cast a spell on them. Maybe you are manifesting this person into your life. Um, I feel like you guys are manifesting each other either way. Your person feels that the feelings are mutual. And we've got, um, I love your sharp insights and how you get to the heart of the matter. You know how to make a point, okay? So number three, more third party energy. So maybe you have like addressed or confronted it if it is a third party and you made your case and now you have persuaded this person that you're the right choice or um, just like the card says, they, they think that you're sharp, they think you're smart, you're insightful, you know how to get to the heart of the matter, you know, you know how to cut through the fog and the confusion, you know how to make a point, okay? And this person is agreeing with you. They're going to or they are agreeing with you now. 
What's that? Give me time to think. I promise to get back to you. So maybe some of you have um, reached out to this person or you're the last one to reach out and now you're just waiting for an answer from them or for them to make a decision and get back to you. They are saying they've needed time to think. What, whatever um, progress this connection is making, it, it's the result of this person growing and changing and with that comes stress, regardless of the situation. So this person's processing that with that two of, two of swords energy. There are, um, again, figuring out, you know, they have been figuring out all this time. For some of you, it's been a while. Um, what's the best decision? What's the best choice for them to make? And then we've got, ever since I met you, my life's transformed for the better. Thank you. So this is more of that um, healing connection with the healing connection talked about. Your romance will transform your life. Your person feels like this romance has transformed their life. Okay, with this with this death card um, energy. Ever since I met you, my, my life's transformed for the better, thank you. So th this person does feel like that. Um, let me get... I love making you laugh. You are my best friend. So some of you, this really did start off or is a friendship that is evolving into something more. They, they love making, making you laugh. And it says, your soul is beautiful. Hugging you is the only comfort I need. So this person is wanting to put their arms around you and hold you. Your soul is beautiful. They're feeling you, like I said, and they're just all about it and everything. So... Yeah, they're definitely wrapping something up, though. Finishing something off, some sort of a project, another relationship, whatever the case may be. I was under a lot of stress that you didn't know about. Yeah, so this something here is or has been stressing your person out. And I feel like whatever that is, that is ending. They're wrapping that up. And as they wrap that up, they look to the future and what decision they have to make in order to, I feel like this person wants to impress you. They, they want to make you happy. They want to do something for you, something nice for you. We've got, I can't make the first move towards you. Yeah, so, so for some of you, this person is wanting you to make the first move or that's why they said they have to you know, they need time to think and they promise to get back to you or if it's been a long time since you've um, been with this person then it's because they are having trouble making the first move. Get too many there. But I do see this person making the first move in the future. They're just wishy-washy. Some of you, um, you know, you're the types that would come in and you have a free and loving heart. You would very gladly offer this person a cup of love. And if you want to do that, then, you know, do, do what you feel, what you feel is right. But um, others of you, it's on this person. And some of your people feel like you have sent them mixed messages. Maybe you're the one that initially friend zoned them or maybe you're a little bit wishy-washy about um, how you really feel or that's the signal they're getting. So that's where this um, hesitation comes from, but I see them moving through it. I don't know how much longer I can do this. And I definitely get they're going through something. So I'm gonna get one final card for the outcome of this connection. So as of present energy spirit, what is the outcome of this co connection going to be for group one? Yeah, we've got that um, little practical, um, hopeful little offer with the Page of Pentacles. So that is um, a communication or an offer of some kind. It's, it's something small like the, like the uh, Page of Cups. But um, it is a, it's a positive card, okay? Some of you could be an Earth sign.
yeah, definitely seeing this as um, potential marriage uh, proposal. This, like this uh, pentacle, this gold pentacle, this gold coin, looks like um, you know, like a like a wedding ring. This person feels like you are the one they can marry, that you are the one that they're going to end up with, um, and since this is the outcome card this is a big message from spirit is what you what you want to know or what they need you to know about this reading they're basically saying what i said at the beginning that this person is the marrying kind this is spouse material if they weren't in the past they've gone through some stuff they're growing into that okay some of them are already there so spirit is really encouraging you to take this opportunity and enjoy yourself um of course, it's always up to you what you want to do, but that is the outcome we're getting. If this is resonating, this is your reading, then that is that is your outcome. Uh, if the reading did resonate, please let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button and subscribe. Um, if if not, you know, then feel free to choose another group or check out one of the playlists linked down below. Check out another reading. Otherwise, thanks guys for tuning in. I appreciate you, and I'm gonna take it over. I'm gonna take it over group two. Welcome group two. Thanks for tuning into your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. So go ahead and think about your love interest when you came to the reading for angels, spirits, and guides for everyone who chose group two. <clears throat> Excuse me. How does their person really feel about them right now? How do they, how does a person feel about them and the connection? How does group two's person really feel about them right now? Using the heartstrings tarot. <clears throat> We've got the Six of Wands. We've got the Ten of Cups. The Page of Swords. At back of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. The good news, guys, is that this person does have very, 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 very positive feelings about you. Okay. I'm going to get some clarifying cards before I say more. Just using the standard Rider Waite Smith deck. person feel about group two please and we've got the see a uh, very very positive feelings towards you guys with the ace of pentacles <clears throat> more positive energy with the strength card okay So basically, how does your person feel? Your person feels like you guys are winning at life, okay? Some of you are very mature, very thoughtful, responsible, got your stuff together, you know? Um, and I think your person really, they well, they really like that about you. I mean, um, with, this, with this earth energy, I'm really drawn to this earth energy. It's the Ace of Pentacles. That does represent the planting of a seed. It represents a new opportunity, a promotion, an investment. So this person, it feels like you are either experiencing those things or that you're um, just like you're winning at life, right? Some of you... Um, you're like a healer. You're understanding as well, like regardless. I am getting like this energy of maybe you're doing things your own way. Like you're experiencing success in your own way. Like you're creating and planting seeds that your person feels like the seeds that you're planting are really going to harvest or are harvesting into something major and something big. Okay. You could be in the public eye getting recognition, but either way, this person feels like you are, um, 
or they feel like you are a supportive person, but also that you're being supported. Some of you are really positive thinkers with the Six of Swords as well. And I am getting this energy of movement that this person thinks about taking action towards this connection. Um, some of you could have moved on from this connection because it wasn't working out and then you like really glowed up after that. With this Ten of Cups, this person just feels like you're super, super abundant. That you, um, I mean, maybe you're really supported by your family or you've got a friends group that's like a family that really supports you or they just see you getting a lot of love and support, maybe from the public, maybe on your social media or however they can um, see that. There's also this energy though of, like maybe you don't even realize how successful. Maybe you're just too grounded and too um, thoughtful of a person uh, to, to really notice just how successful that you actually are or just how much love this person has for you or how much love that other people have for you. There's this energy that your person thinks that you're holding yourself back that you impose restrictions on yourself that you don't need to. Maybe you're cutting yourself off from this love and this abundance for some reason. That's interesting. And um, with the strength and, and the page of swords, this person feels like even though one of you, probably them, isn't ready for a full-on commitment or grown relationship right now, they feel that because you are such a grown up, you are such an emperor or an empress, that you can handle their basic instincts, their wily side with that strength card and you can calm the situation. Like you have a soothing, calm energy. They just really feel like you're very humble. You got a lot going for you that you might not even realize how much you've got going for you. And um, they're really curious about that. They're keeping an eye on you. They could even have you know, other people keeping an eye on you on your social media or however else they can because it's like they're trying to figure out the secret to your success. Like, what is your secret? Why are you so loved? And, and why are you like the best, but you don't seem to recognize that? Or um, some of you just like to keep it moving. Like you don't, maybe you do know that you're a great person um you do know that you've got it going on that a lot of people look up to you love you care about you but you just you don't let it go to your head and others of you do have issues with a family like a family situation maybe you just had like a rough upbringing and you're not completely healed from those or from that but I see that your person um, feels like, you know, they, you have a lot to offer them and they, and they think that they have a lot to offer you in return, but that you guys are different. Like you are, you're opposites. Okay. So some of you guys really love yourself. Okay. You do have an unconditional love for yourself and, um, You've really grown in your self-respect and in your courage. Maybe this is the result of others, perhaps family members or some sort of group of people maybe abusing you know, their power over you at some point. You might have a tendency to self-sabotage due to whatever you've been through in your past, but your person feels like you are somebody that's in their power that's really grown and... Um, really got your stuff together, really balanced within yourself, knows how to control themselves. You're a responsible, understanding, healing, thoughtful person. That's how they feel about you guys. So, I'm gonna get some cards for my new little deck, the Romantic Fairy Oracle. And if this is resonating, please let me know in the comment section down below and hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like a private reading, my contact information is also in the description box. If this isn't resonating, feel free to choose another group or check out one of my playlists linked down below. 
For group two, how does your person feel about them, spirit? Tell us more about how group two's person really feels about them in this connection. We've got third party. Um, you may be dealing with a karmic situation. This one popped up. Friendly support. Fairies, guides, and friends give aid. Yeah, this person sees you like the woman on the card, regardless of your gender. You see how those men are catering to her, offering her things, okay? And um, the card is called friendly support, so it could be friends that are doing that or people that have more interest in you than that. This person could be a friend or you guys could have started off as friends. I do feel like this person wants to offer you some sort of friendly support. but they do see you as having a lot of friends or supporters, followers, and that maybe you're not free. Because there's three people on the card there, that woman and two, two men, so maybe you're not free. Maybe they're not free. A lot of different people watch this, so just take how it resonates, but let's get some more. How else does this person feel towards group two, please? three more that fell out we've got lasting love <clears throat> unexpected connection and twin flame recognition okay then we've got best friend at the back of the deck friendship is vital to your romance feelings deepen and blossom so for some of you with the unexpected connection you know maybe this started off as friends with benefits or you guys were just friends maybe you guys were both involved with other people or are presently and then all of a sudden you realize that you have this unexpected connection so maybe this person feels that they're holding back their love for you that you're holding back your love for them because there's something about this connection that was unexpected. And even if you don't resonate with the third party, then it's opposites attract. Like you guys are just different. Maybe you guys are not each other's usual type and expectation. One of you is an empress, one of you is a lion. So your person is watching that. Maybe they're feeling a little skeptical and curious as to how they can have such big feelings for you and how the, this unexpected connection could be looking more and more like something that has lasting potential while at the same time you guys are so different um this is because it's twin flame recognition so you know google twin flames if you don't know what that is i know a lot of you do um if you don't like that label use a different one but it's all about soulmates who come together to teach each other lessons you know this soul that mirrors your own so regardless of the label this person feels like they can see themselves in your eyes and it's especially um, unexpected because, again, you guys are so different. But yet they can see, they can see themselves in you and, and they recognize you. And for some of you, your person does feel like you are their twin flame. At the very least, their soulmate. And it was unexpected because you guys started off as, um, you, know, you know, workmates or friends or in a friends group or knew each other through a friends situation or in some cases through a third party of some kind and the third party can be anything right so it's like that um, unexpected that this person feels like this has legs to be a lasting love this is your true love so they really see in you the opportunity both of the the, the six of wands and the lasting love card both talk about true love both mean true love okay this is an opportunity for true love. Your person feels like you are an opportunity for true love, um, which makes sense if, if they are your twin flame. They recognize something in you, something special and something more than they initially or, you know, than they had initially thought that it would be, okay? So let's get some messages from your person. What would they say to you if they had no fear and no filter about how they feel about you and this connection? Group two is person spirit. What messages do they have, please? We've got, I love that you spoil me. Your affection and attention makes me feel like royalty. 
So yeah, for some of you, your person is the person in the middle here getting attended to. Like you could have, as again, started off as friends and you were very attentive to this person. And like like they're saying on the card, you know, they loved that. Your, your affection and your attention makes them feel like royalty or did before in the past. So let's see what else this person has to say. I have endured such trying times with you and I have not given up yet. So even if this person is holding back their love for you, like we can see with the Eight of Swords and the Ten of, Ten of Cups, because this has been an unexpected connection, they didn't really realize that you guys could be magnetized to one another the way that you really are. And they didn't realize that this is something very special, that this is the opportunity for true love. And it's like, um, been a difficult realization for some of your people. They're saying like, regardless of what difficulties that this connection has gone through, this person is saying they have endured those trying times, but they have not given up yet on this connection. And that's because I couldn't dream of a better partner for me than, than you. You're the world to me. So this person feels like you are a star. Again, some of you, um, this person watches your social media. Some of you are very popular or you have, you get a lot of attention. Um, but either way, this person, they admire you and they, they think about you. And um, they think about reaching out to you because they, they do feel like you're the opportunity for true love, okay? That you're a dream partner. I wish I was half the human you are. These memories of you won't stop. Yeah, and the star card energy can talk about memories as well. For some of you, this is somebody from your past, somebody that perhaps like thought the grass was greener on the other side. Um, maybe some of you thought that, but either way, this person saying, you know, that they really look up to you. Okay, they feel like they wish that um, they were half the human that you are, and that they just can't get you out of their head, and that. They just keep having memories about you. The memories won't stop. It says, baby, you know exactly what to say to cheer me up. You're, you're the best listener always and forever. So you were a really good listener to this person and a really good, um, a really good friend. The best friends are the best listeners, right? At the back of the deck, we've got, you make me want to be a better person. Please never stop being you. So this person just, they really admire you. They really love you. They really think highly of you. Really feel like um, you're very special to them, okay? got I know you're my soulmate meeting you was written in the stars and who can love you like me nobody so they're just saying you know they're pretty confident that that the, no one can love you the way that they can love you and um, that you guys are soulmates and that you guys were meant to meet okay I didn't realize that I didn't realize I loved you until it, it was too late. I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. And I'm haunted by us. Okay? So yeah, some of you this person could show somebody else over you or they just friend zoned you or neither one of you. I mean, the scenarios are endless cuz it's a general reading, but um they're saying that they love you. And they're haunted by you. They just can't stop thinking about you. Can't stop 
the memories of you. So let's get um, let's get an outcome card for you guys. So if present energies remain the same between group two and their person spirit going forward, what is the outcome? It's a big message from spirit. It's kind of like the, the summary of the whole reading. What spirit wants you to know. Oh, that just flew. We've got the King of Wands. Interesting. Okay, so King of Wands really wanted to come out of the deck because, like I said, he just flew out of the deck. Um, so you could be dealing with the fire sign. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody with it strong in their chart. So with this particular person, you know, for this to be, like, regardless of the sign or the gender of the person, for the outcome... This is going to be a wild ride, okay? Um, some of you, and underneath him is the hermit. So some of you are going to be more like a Virgo energy regardless of your sign. And this person is going to be more fiery regardless of their sign. Like this person feels like you are more, um, you know, maybe you're more reserved. Maybe you're more level-headed, more clear-headed, uh, more spiritual something. But this person is definitely more bold, um, charming, powerful, and courageous, okay? They're, they're like the lion. I believe this is like, um, well, they're lions on the back. So you could be dealing with the Leo, but you don't have to be. Also, this is strong Sagittarius and a little bit of Scorpio energy. So, um, yeah, basically this person, you know, the outcome spirit is saying like, you know, hold on to your hat because this is going to be um, an adventure. Okay, uh, this is a this is a real romance. This this is a real romance. This is a positive sign. It shows us like a real romance on the table between the two of you, and it's going to be a, it's going to be an adventure. It's going to be a little wild, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So if this is what you're wanting, stay on track to it because that is where you guys are headed. Okay. This is what I've got for you, Group 2. A little bit of shorter reading today. Thanks for tuning in. If you'd like a private reading, my contact information is below. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified when I upload my next video if you would like to. Again, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Welcome, Group 3. Thanks for tuning in to your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. So I'm going to use the Heartstrings Tarot today. Go ahead and think about your person, your love interest, the one that you came to the reading for. Angel spirits and guides for everyone who has chosen in group three. How does a person really feel about them in this connection? How does group three's person really feel about them in this connection, please? We've got the tower. We've got the Six of Cups. We've got the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> I've got an extra card for you guys. Ah, the Sun. And this is what I was picking up on from you guys. I feel like you guys, for the majority of you who have chosen this group, you, know, you actually are happy and content. You're in a good mood, at least at the time that you're watching this. And not for everybody, but for a lot of you. For the person that's going to resonate most with this reading, it's somebody that is lighthearted or just like has the Midas touch. Some of you, like everything you touch turns into gold. Maybe you're really good at just attracting abundance. But there's something abundant about you, okay? So a lot of you are happy souls, okay? And your person is seeing that as well. There does appear to be some sort of an ending we've got at the back of the deck. The Ten of Swords. Johnny Cash. That represents represents Hurt. Okay, the, the song Hurt. Um, I'm going to try to link the playlist down below that will have all of these songs for each of these cards on it, okay? But, um, yeah, with that Ten of Swords, it looks like 
there has been a painful ending in this connection. We've got the Ten of Swords and the Tower. Both of those talk about painful endings. Now, if you guys are not, you know, at an end with this person or in separation with them, maybe you have experienced some unwanted major change, some sort of upheaval, yeah. Somebody could have walked away, look at that. Or you're trying to avoid that from happening, stop that from happening. Or trying to recover from it. Where your person is trying to um, realize that there's still hope for this connection. I feel like they, they're looking to see if you realize, like they could be watching you from a distance. You guys could still be in some sort of contact with this person or you could be receiving a message from them pretty soon or vice versa where it's an attempt for them to figure out if you're really happier without them or if there's hope for reconciliation. Yeah, they want to be sending you a sexy text message or coming towards you actually, like moving towards you with the Knight of Wands just full of passion and friendliness, wanting a reconciliation with you. Some of you could um, you know, have children with this person. We've got the Six of Cups twice. So you guys could have known this person for years or from childhood, or you guys just, your inner children play really well together. Um, this person could want to have children with you with the Empress here, or maybe there's a mother that's had an imp impact on this connection somehow. But um, I'm getting that. I think that just those cards just came out to clarify and the rest of it. those are the only ones I'm drawn to take so even though this person feels like maybe they're gonna be a burden on you or maybe this connections a burden on both of you maybe it's like a little bit like beating a dead horse maybe you guys have been out, in and out of each other's lives or maybe this person's been in and out or it's been off and on and then you just got tired of it and put an end to it they're still hoping for a reconciliation. They could be wanting to give you wanting to give you a sweet little gift here. They're feeling nostalgic about this connection. There could be an age difference as well. Um, but they feel like you're a queen, like you're an empress, like regardless of you know your gender. A lot of uh, <coughs> excuse me, people who watch my channel are are females or feminine, but. Uh, they are, and, and they are seeing, like, they're picking up on you in that. If you're a man watching this for a woman or masculine watching for a feminine, then, then they feel like you make them feel like a natural woman. But for the majority of you, it's the other way around. So just flip it as it resonates. General reading, bottom line, and this person feels like you are, like, spouse material, okay? Um, if you're their wife, you're a great wife, you know? If you're the mother of their child you you are a great one or they think that you would make a great mother uh, a great parent and, and a great um a great spouse you know there's also a lot of um physical attraction as well your person feels a lot of physical attraction regarding you and um, I get that you just, they feel like you are abundant. You're an abundant person with that son and that, that empress. Like maybe you do very well for yourself, materially speaking, but you're also like a joyous person. You are someone that they can have fun with, let their hair down with, experience a lot of pleasures with. Um, they feel like with you that they can be prosperous. They feel like with you that they can uh, experience a success in life. Um, or you are, you're experiencing those things, okay? So basically, this person feels like a lot of passion for you despite any sort of endings. They want to come and um, they want to reconcile with you. They have fond memories of this connection that they like to dwell upon. They really feel like you're a nurturing, healing, supportive person. And, um, and they've just really gotten clarity on your nature of who, of who you truly are. Like you really are a happy, abundant, lucky person in your person's opinion. And um, and they see that now, whereas maybe they didn't see before. Maybe they did, but either way, this is what we're getting. So let's get some messages from the um, Romantic Fairy Oracle. This is an adorable new oracle that I got. And... Uh, Created by Cherry Enchantress. If you haven't seen her channel, check it out. 
absolutely love her. She's an artist, you can tell. It shows in her work. She created this deck, so for group three spirit, how does this person really feel about group three, please? reaching out definitely feel like reaching out to you coming towards you reaching out it says expect a call or text from your person of interest I feel like reaching out to you group three I've got healing connection this came out in one of the other groups as well so if you felt drawn to watch more than one feel free to watch more than one it says your romance will transform your life so feeling like this connection, you know, will transform, you know, your life and their life. And for some of you, you know, I really feel like this is a connection that has some history to it in this life. But for others of you, this is a newer connection, but you guys just felt very early on that there was some sort of a, a deeper bond to the connection, like a soulmate, a past life sort of thing. You just felt a deeper connection to this person really early on. And so, um, and the tower energy and the ten of swords and all of this could be um, something that happened with somebody else or, or um, previous to you guys meeting one another or something that you guys were both going through or one of you was going through when you met. For those that haven't known this person as long. For others of you, you have known this person a long time. But either way, this is a healing connection. Your person feels like this romance is transforming their life or it has the potential to. Like they really see a future with you. Yeah, life partner. At the back of the deck, your romance is stable and, and ready to go the distance. Definitely feel like you, you got, <laughs> wow, well, yeah, okay. They feel like you can be their life partner. That you got it going on. Self-love. Love yourself first. Because some of you take really excellent care of yourself. I feel like this person feels they can learn how to take care of themselves um, from you as well. So um, some of you really got this like mommy or daddy vibe to you. And um, it really appeals to this person's inner child. Is They're not someone... Maybe that's the best at taking care of themselves. They might be lusty, free spirit, free spirited, and creative, um, but not necessarily the most, the best at like um, really taking care of themselves. They're very dynamic, you know. They're um, they have a lot of ideas, but they this is the energy of somebody that perhaps gets like. Um, a little uh, bored easily or unrealistic. And you're coming across as a much more stable energy than that. And so they're really attracted to how you love yourself. They feel like that's a good example. Like you're setting a good example for other people, including themselves, by being that way. And they're really attracted to that. How does this person feel about group three? Falling in love, sudden feelings that this is the one. So, yeah, this person is um, falling in love with you. And it could have happened all of a sudden, like a lightning bolt, right? They were just thinking maybe that this was supposed to be a casual affair or something, an exciting romance that wasn't supposed to last very long. And instead, they are experiencing like that lightning bolt of realization that you're their life partner, they're, you're the one that um, they're supposed to be with, that they're falling in love with you, that you actually could be the one and that they need to reach out to you. Let's get one more card on how this person feels about group three, please. Your life partner again, life partner really wanted to come out for you guys. Your romance is stable and ready to go the distance, so. Yeah, this person um, 
you calm this person down. Yeah, you make them, you make them want to settle down. And this is not somebody that really ever wanted to settle down. They wanted to be like a perennial child, you know? Like, um, you know, just wanting to do their own thing and be a free spirit their whole life. But there's something about you and your energy that makes them want to settle down, okay? And reach out, settle down, and all that good stuff. Let's get some messages. How would this, what would this person say to group three if they had no fear and no filter about how they feel for group three in this situation, please? You're at a distance from me and I'm wondering how you are. So yeah, so part of this person's um, heartache is to do with the fact that you guys are at a, a distance, whether emotionally, physically, or both. Um, this person could be traveling towards you, reaching out to you to let you know they want to travel towards you or actually moving towards you to close that distance. Because it's like they're ready for something to pay off here. That three of wands. And they're wondering how you are. They're wanting to expand the connection. I've got another three. You're everything I want in a partner. I'm trying, or wait, I'm open to starting a family with you. Okay, you're everything I want in a partner, more Empress energy. And I'm open to starting a family with you. Yeah, this person is open to starting a family with you. You make them feel content. You make them feel like you could, um, together you guys could create a harmonious home, uh, a little community of your own. Um, even if it means there's a journey that needs to take place, Maybe this person wants to move somewhere, somewhere with you, like somewhere else with you. Or, yeah, someplace like um, that would be good for raising children. That just came through. Okay, so what else? And your dreamy imagination about the bright future we could have pierces my heart and draws me to you. So this person... Um, yeah, if, if you are about the Empress and the Queen of Cups especially especially the Queen of Cups has a dreamy imagination okay and um, so at some point you could have expressed to this person you know what you wanted to happen right um, your hopes for the future and that really um, that really stuck with your person it really impressed them and like the card says it pierced their heart it draws them to you. The back of the deck, we've got, I'm, I'm planning a little surprise for you that you are going to love, but it's a secret. So this person is planning a surprise. You're gonna love it, but it's a secret. baby every moment with you is like a dream I don't want to wake up from you're the best and this person likes to call you baby um, baby you know exactly what to say to cheer me up you're the best listener always and forever so I do feel like some of you are very cheerful you're just happy people it's like even if life has dealt you some major blows even whatever you've gone through, however hard or painful something was, you still you have a sense of humor. You're still positive. You're still loving. God, I'm jealous of every single person who's closer to you than I am. And I'm sending, I'm sending you hidden messages and music. Oh, okay. So, and you guys in particular might want to look up some of these songs that come out okay we've got landslide by stevie nicks um i have a couple of other songs too like i said they're linked down below three little birds by bob marley love that song um because your person's saying they're sending you hidden um, messages and music it's kind of things that soulmates can do with one another those coincidences those synchronicities those are not uh, the, the, those are not uh what they appear to be. And those are not coincidences at all. You are a goddess. Woo. 
Wow. You're a goddess, guys. Group three. Person. Well, yeah, we saw that. Got that Empress and that Queen of Cups. I fantasize about you. So, fantasize about you. Some of you guys are dreaming and fantasizing about each other at the same time and stuff like that. It's just like a lot going on in the 4 and 5D between the two of you. So they're fantasizing about you. So let's get um, let's get your outcome. So if present energies remain the same going forward, this will be the big message from Spirit as what you can expect. The bottom line of the whole reading, kind of like a summary of the reading for you guys. Um, as of right now, what is the future outcome? The most likely future outcome for the strongest collective energy of everyone who chose group three. Let's see the outcome between group three and their person, please. The Emperor. The Emperor. Wow. We got the Empress and the Emperor. Definitely strong um, soulmate energy between the two of you. Likely twin flames. Either way, it is um, higher level soulmate relationship here. So, um, this person is just going to increase in significance, uh, in their significance in your life. This person is going to level up in your life in some way. They're going to become much more important to you. So this could mean that you're getting married. This could mean that um, you're having that, you know, that, that child that I talked about earlier. This is a very... If you're here for a masculine, this is a very traditionally masculine male. Powerful, conservative. But yeah. Somebody that holds their feelings inside, but... Um, I feel like this person is going to test you. I think the conversation they're going to have with you is going to test a little bit. They're going to test your boundaries. Just They're going to test your boundaries to see if, if um, you want the same thing that they do, if you're willing to, to uh, go the distance with them, like how far you're willing to go with them. Yeah, because this is somebody that, as much as they love you and I see that they, they do, at the very least, they have a lot of feelings for you, very sweet feelings. They are still somebody that's kind of self-focused, okay? But they're willing to share that with you. You know, if, if you can pass their tests, right? I, and I don't feel like that's like a big, a big thing. I'm just like, I'm getting into their ego behind their throne a little bit, seeing what's back there. And what's back there is um, this emperor trying to, um, you know, just test the metal of their empress to make, make sure that um, she's the right partner. And I can see from the reading that for a lot of you, you really, you guys are, you, you guys are right for each other. So that's what I've got, group three. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that was helpful. If you'd like a private reading, my contact information is down below. Um, hit the like button and subscribe. If it didn't resonate, feel free to choose another group or check out the playlists that are linked down below for another reading. And so, yeah, I think that's all I've got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you next time.